Welcome to Crafting with Gabby. Yay, I'm Gabby. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you guys for stopping by. Now, I'm super excited. My first review, and it's a Monvik glue gun from Amazon. And they went ahead and reached out to me. So let's go ahead and review this glue gun together. Now, it does come in a sleek box. So that's very cool. So I was definitely looking to replace my smaller glue gun. So let's go ahead and take everything out. So step one, add the base, step two, add the glue sticks, step three, plug it in, and then step four, preheat. And my favorite step, step five, start crafting. So let's go ahead and add the base. And it does have two settings. It has a 60 and 100 watt. So that's very cool. I like the trigger. And it's actually kind of light, which I like. So let's go ahead and insert the glue sticks, which is our step two. Then we wanna go ahead and plug it in, let it preheat, get our supplies ready. And of course, I have to make some headbands for the twins, so yay. Now I'm using this flower that was made for me from my friend Kim from Kim's Inspired Life. Thank you so much, Kim. So we're gonna do one headband for Monica and do a bow for Veronica. Now I already pre-made this bow, so all I'm doing is waiting for the glue gun to heat up and then we're gonna go ahead and attach it to the headband. So how cute is that? And once you mark where you want your bow and your flower, we're ready to go so let's go ahead and look at these finger guards now i bought some finger guards at dollar tree and of course they are too small for my fingers and i like this because it gives you three sizes and the third size is perfect for me and let's go ahead and start crafting okay so first i'm going to test it out and this is at the 60 watt and it's looking good a good amount of glue comes out when you squeeze the trigger little to no overflow so i'm gonna go ahead and squeeze out the glue add it to the headband and then add my bowl and then i'm gonna wrap everything tightly with the last piece of the bow which is the middle so let's go ahead and try that and cool i love the base as well and all i'm doing is adding the middle part of the bow and i'm going to attach it to the actual headband underneath with glue on both sides and see if it holds. So how cute, I like this nozzle and it's very clean. So let's go ahead and do our second project which is adding our flowers to our headband. So that's 60 watts now and, and the glue is keeping its heat so I like that, that's a plus. So let's just go ahead and add it to there. And like I said, the finger guard is awesome. It actually fits my size, which is fabulous. So, so far so good. I am loving the ease and I love the trigger. It's very smooth. And I'm definitely gonna keep this glue gun because it's working out good for me. So let's go ahead and try one more project and let's turn it up to 100 and see how that works. And I'm going to go ahead and do a DIY with these two circles that I got at Dollar Tree. So all I want to do is glue them down and make sure they're secure. So let's go ahead and see how that works. So, so far I love the ease of the trigger. It actually dispenses the glue very easily. And like I said, this is at 100 watts. So let's go ahead and try this out. I'm going to glue these two together. Okay, so my thoughts on this glue gun is I personally love it. And you can visit the Manvik store here on Amazon. I will link everything down below as well as the 10% off. So go ahead, guys. Check it out. I love it. Like I said, it's light. It's surprisingly light. I like the trigger a lot. It is definitely going to replace my, other, my older glue gun. So go ahead, check it out on Amazon. I will link it down below. I will also link down the codes. And remember guys, you can't DIY if you don't try, so go ahead, check it out. And the last project that I did was add this cute bow to these bunny ears that my friend Veronica Christie sent the twins. And I think they turned out cute as well. So go ahead, check out the Monvik glue gun here on Amazon. I will link it down below. So it's definitely gonna be part of my crafty stash. And till next time, bye guys.